Hey, Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Um, probably thought it was going to be a little easier again. It kind of played out like Wednesday's game. You did enough to win. Um, what were your impressions of, of – I mean, you, you guys have executed offensively brilliantly for the first half, well enough in the second. What were your impressions? Well, I think when you get it, you know, you're up big, 20-point game with six minutes to go. Unfortunately, the human nature part of that um, – you know, it's something that you're always uh, on on guard against. And we talked about it in that timeout. You know, second chance opportunities, you know, they only got eight, but man, they just really scored on them. Um, but uh, overall, I mean, it's what you expect. I mean, you're on somebody else's court and, you know, playing well. And um, six minutes to go, they got, everybody's got one more run in them. Um, and we just got to be able to handle that better. We'll go over to Jack. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, Cheryl, uh, so became the fifth player ever to reach, I think, 2,500 made field goals for a career, scored 16 in just 22 minutes. Do you have any more positive adjectives that you haven't mm -hmm. used to describe Sylvia Fowles and, and what she brings to your to your team every night? Uh, we just we shared it with the team and, and we saw, looked around a second, said, not just that for a second, 2,500 field goals. And, and on, on the night that she does it, she's eight of nine. Um, you know, and, and frankly, not very many plays were run for her. Uh, she had to really work. You know, we talked to Syl about that, that we're a better team when she's getting her stuff a little bit more on her own. Occasionally we'll run some ATOs for her, but um, so it's just a force. Um, you know, like I said, we, we've said everything possible. Um, you know, I don't know that you can find a more dependable player than what we've seen in Syl in a Lynx uniform. Uh, and then you guys have, have held opponents to under 100 defensive rating, which is kind of a mark you've talked about in, in six of your last eight wins. Can you can you just describe what you think uh, your defense has done well and what you need to continue to do well over these final you know handful of games here? Well, it's like we talked about before the game, understanding a team's identity. And this was a team that wants to be in the paint. We didn't quite we didn't quite get it done to the level that we had hoped, but uh, but we also I thought created some difficult shot attempts. Um, I thought our, our digs in the paint were pretty good. I thought things were difficult for the Agumakes. Um, you know, a couple of guards got away from us in that stretch where we just kind of lost our minds and lost our focus on what we were trying to get done. Um, but I think our, our defense is good when we're understanding that, you know, that your priority, um, especially when a team wants to be in the paint, your priority is to defend the paint and, and not to be fearful because a team, uh, you know, one of the players hits, hits a three. You, you, can't, you can't let that, you know, make you stray from, what you know it takes to be successful I mean, in each of those, you know, below 40% games, in addition to the offensive rating in each of those 40% games, look at, look at, uh, I think how well we committed uh, to defending the paint. Those, those things go hand in hand. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Frank. Coach, you know, you talked about, uh, you know, kind of being able to handle those surges in the fourth quarter. What are some of the things you'd like to see, maybe you guys do a little bit better uh, in those situations to kind of withstand those surges or not, you know, maybe not let them get that close. Control at the top, um, meaning our point guard, uh, being able to settle a team down and communicate and direct and get what you want. Um, and that, that, you know, in the Atlanta game, in this game, sort of the same thing happened. Uh, so we're still growing in that area and trying to, you know, kind of implore, you know, those at the, at the top of the offense that do simple things, get a simple play call in. And frankly, and we said this for most of the game, that when they got their level of desperation and they're coming on and frankly, uh, not having no regard for whether they're fouling or not, uh, referees swallow whistles in those situations. You know, the non-calls go to the aggressive team. They got really, really aggressive and there, there weren't many foul calls. And, uh, you know, I think for us, just recognizing that that's the time that you want to break a play to make a play. Uh, and, you know, we took, we, we, you know, we had bad passing, um, you know, just, you know, get shot on goal, get a shot on goal, give us a chance to, to get ourselves back. You talk about, you know, you couldn't have been shot the ball much better, especially in the first half, but you, know, you talk about turnovers and then obviously in the first half and into the second half, you know, that maybe prevented the lead from being even greater. Yeah. Yeah. We had, I think 11 turnovers in the, in the first half. I don't know what it ended up being in the third, but. Um, you know, they, they're, they're physical. They got really aggressive. And, you know, I think we, we would like to do a better job of, of being able to counter pressure. And I just didn't think we did that very well uh, tonight. Um, you know, give LA credit for their, their physicality. Uh, they're recognizing what they could get away with. And, and it, it, you know, made it, made it a little more difficult for us. We'll jump over to Lucas. Go ahead. Coach, entering tonight, um, 
bench ranked second in the league uh, in net rating. I think first in points per game and top two or three in, in most advanced statistical uh, categories. I guess how nice is it to be able to uh, go to your athletes on the bench, have trust in them, and then kind of what's, uh, you know, been their role or how key have they been in kind of this stretch that you guys have had over the last couple of months? It's been huge for our team. Um, the, the starters will tell you that. They really admire the second group. Uh, they enjoy watching them play when we're at practice, when we're playing against the guys. They're, they're envious of some of the things that they do together. Um, they, they have a lot of confidence in one another. They understand how to bring out one another's skill sets. They do simple things. They move the ball. They share the ball. Um, and so they just have a really nice vibe um, and a belief in each other and what they're doing. And, uh, you know, you can't say enough about that. When you can, you can play 10 players, uh, 11 players, when you can play everybody, um, you know, that, that's really, really helpful. We were able to have extended time on the bench uh, for those guys. And then when they came back, they were able to be uh, a little more fresh. Go ahead, Kent. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for all the, it could have been a bigger win. It wasn't, it's a win. And you've now won two games in a row on the road against teams that are just as desperate, desperate to fight for playoff position as you are. I mean, you have to be pretty happy with that fact alone and the fact that you're still, you know, you're still in the conversation here. I'm thrilled. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, downplay this at all. I mean, you know, like this is a team that, you know, is, is hanging in there and, and trying to control our own destiny. We understand how hard it's going to be. We understand the percentages, um, but it's not what we're focused on. We just want to, we just want to be the best that we can. And, and then, you know, be in position, like I said before, be in position that, if things start to turn, you know, for anybody above us, that, that we're there to catch it. And, uh, you know, obviously winning is something that has to be done in order to be able to do that. And, you know, you have, you have the season series in hand against both Phoenix and, um, and L.A. now, and you have a chance to win the season series against Atlanta. So I guess, you know, those are good things. You always talk about that. But yeah. I also wanted to ask you about Mo Jefferson. You, you said before the game, she was kind of coming on, feeling a little bit better. You know, she cut down the turnovers tonight. She had a great yep. first half, good game. She did. Uh, a few hiccups late, but she played as yep. probably a strong game as she played since she hurt her knee, right? Yeah, no, you're exactly right. You could see that. I think you said it last game. She's kind of she's trending upward. Um, you know, we had a we had a good meeting, good conversation about you know her kind of getting back to the, those things, and she understood her matchup tonight really, really well, and that's what allowed us to get off to, to such a good start. Uh, that she knew that her position was going to be one that um, could be in our favor. Uh, and she really took advantage of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Frank. I'm just kind of picking up off some of what you were talking about there, but I mean, you know, the way this season has gone with the ups and downs and then the start and then, how, I mean, what does it say about this team that you are one game out of a, a playoff spot here as you kind of head down this final stretch? Um. You know, I mean, there, I guess resilience is, is what comes to mind. You know, every team will probably say that because you have these tough stretches and, you know, that, that like, you know, for us, we, we've gone some, we've gone through some, you know, kind of some valleys that have been hard for everybody. And, and um, you know, we, we just wanted to be a team, you know, let's not forget that, you know, you know this is Sills last year and, and we're, 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 we're trying desperately, you know, to, uh, to, to have her another, another shot at the, the playoffs. Um, I just think it's a team that knows that we're better than what we we, maybe we played in, in some of our games, but that's how we played. So it's not like, you know, um, but we, we just have come together. We've really learned our identity and we've started to defend. I mean, we did not defend early in the season. Remember those conversations that we had and, and we're defending now. And, and it gives you a chance to win every game that you play and especially in the road. 